like technology? Yes, I like technology. So have you ever heard of UAVs? UAVs, I have not. UAVs. No. Have you ever heard of UAVs? Unmanned aerial vehicles. Some people call them drones. Oh yeah. Well, yes, of course. Oh, well, drones. of course. Oh, yeah. of course. You yeah. bet. Absolutely. Yeah, we've we've heard of them. Yeah. She's seen a few of them around. Would you be surprised if I said farmers are using UAVs? Uh, no, I would not be surprised. No, that sounds like a really good way to survey the fields. To manage their crops. I mean, obviously, you can see from up above, and perhaps for watering purposes, for growth. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> These are unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs. The info these tiny flying objects can capture is changing the way farmers manage their fields. They're more practical than you think. You actually can see your crop from above the ground, and as the crop grows and gets too tall for you to see from the road, you really can't see the middle of the field, so we get a good aerial view of the entire field. These UAVs can spot trouble hundreds of feet in the air and even prevent problems from taking hold. I mainly like it for nitrogen, if we're deficient in nitrogen, because we're all trying to uh, reduce our nitrogen level that we use on the crop, and this way we can spot apply nitrogen to enhance our crop. Better for the environment, better for my pocketbook. If we can spot diseases, fungus in the crop, you can actually treat those spots, create a prescription map and treat those spots and not the whole field. Not everyone can fly one of these, and there are proposals to ensure proper training. But it's just one more example of how Iowa farmers are using innovation to safeguard the land and water while growing food for us all. To learn more about all the ways farmers are working to improve the land, water, and soil, check out conservationcountsiowa.com. With your conservation q and I'm Lori Johns.